Next thing that's extremely important is going to actually be picking hand. Now, I, I'm going to be saying right hand a lot, so if you're a lefty guitar player, I apologize. You have to bear with me. I'm going to be saying right and left all the time. You know, when I say right, I mean your picking hand. When I say left, of course, it's your fretting, your fretting hand. So, you know, when you first start playing guitar, and I did this too, I remember all this stuff from way back when I was 10 years old. You, know, you watch people play, and all the fancy, all the crazy looking stuff, all the movements, the big jumps, all that fancy stuff, looks cool over here. So everyone kind of, kind of figures, oh, that's going to be that's going to be the hard the hard hand. Right? I'm going to really have to concentrate on that. And we tend to ignore as beginners the picking hand because it's not as glamorous, right? It doesn't look as cool. Not much going on over on this side. But that's a big mistake. I find that most beginning guitar players have a much harder time getting a handle on the picking hand than they do with the left hand. So we're going to put some focus into this. Okay. Number one is going to be how to hold the pick. This is a big deal. You're going to find a lot of people hold the pick different ways. I'm not going to be so dogmatic as to say that this way I'm going to tell you is the only way you can do it and no one else can play. Listen, there's some people with some very weird picking grips that really shred. However, my story, I learned the wrong way a long, long time ago. No one showed me the right way. I didn't have lessons or anything right away. And then, you know, it's, it's um, I had to go through a big struggle learning how to pick the right way. So I've been through the ringer here with my picking technique. So you can take a page out of my book here. Trust me that um, I've experimented with a lot of things over the years. And, and I believe the way that I teach this, the way that I like to show people holding the pick, is really going to give you the best of the most amount of worlds. Okay, and it's going to set you up for success. So what do most people do? When they first start playing guitar, it's kind of natural just to grab the pick between the first finger and the thumb like that. Makes sense, right? Hey, I got it. Some people, are, they come in and I see them doing this, two, two fingers with the pick. So here's the trouble with that, okay? If I got this between the first uh, finger and the thumb, like this, even if you got a really good grip on the thing, the problem is your finger joint is meant to move. See, it's moving like that. I'm looking up here so I can kind of see what's going on. See, it's moving. So even though I'm, I'm gripping really hard, my joint is still moving. So that means if you're doing some aggressive stuff over here, building your speed up, you're going to get unnecessary motion. Also, your thumb joint's going to start moving. Now, here's the problem. You're out of control. You start doing this stuff, your pick is going to move. The pick sometimes starts to slide. You're going to have your first finger sometimes like, like slide out. It's going to start getting in the way of the edge of the pick. All kinds of just nastiness is going to happen because of the wobbliness. So how do we counteract that? Well, we can counteract that by holding the pick on the side of the finger for a much more solid foundation. So here's how it's going to work. You're going to make a thumbs up sign like that. Not tight, not giving a good tight grip, but just a nice loose, you know, where your fingers are touching the inside of your hand like that. If you, if you look down and notice on your own hand, you're going to have three different segments now of that index finger. We're going to place the pick on the side of this first segment by the tip of your finger. So you can grab the pick with your other hand, make the thumbs up sign. Notice I'm putting it on the side here. Now I have a little bit more of a detailed video on this just about the picking grip and, and whatnot on the Metal Guitar Academy YouTube channel. So subscribe to that if you want, and you can, you can check that out. But this is a good uh, kind of, you know, quick and dirty way to do it here to show you guys. So we put it on the side of the finger like that, and we're gonna place that thumb comfortably over the pick. I laid it flat over that pick, okay? So here it goes again. Thumbs up, boom, pick goes there, lays it flat. Now, a couple details. Everybody's hands are, of course, different shapes and sizes, right? So these are guidelines. You want to make this comfortable for yourself. Notice when I hold this, if I'm holding it just naturally like that, I don't know if you can see if I do that, my, my index finger is actually sticking out a little bit more. See that than my other fingers? So I, I'm not totally like that. Here's why. 
If I'm totally like that, when I go to put my thumb over the pick, the, the pad of my thumb, the fat part, is not what's on top of the pick. I don't know if you can see that good. Notice the pick is too close to the back part of my thumb. That does not give me a solid grip. It also makes my thumb joint go like that, which is not solid. So I push my finger out a little bit. The pushing out is a result of me wanting to have the fat part of my thumb, the pad, over that, over that pick. Okay. So you can adjust based on your hand size. The principle here is to have the pick on the side of that first finger and the pad of your thumb is pushing down comfortably, keeping that pick in, in place. So the idea here now is that pick is not going anywhere. You've got a lot of good support. You're not going to wobble. You don't have to give it the death grip just to keep the thing from moving. You know, you got to give it some grip, obviously. But the thing is very solid. And um, I, by the way, from one of my picks is um, Dava picks. Dava picks. I love these picks. Dava. Pick them up if you can. Try them out. Anyway, I, I try a lot of picks. They're, they're by far, they're by far, for me, the best. But I have an educated opinion because I've tried so many. So that's how you should hold that pick. Now, if you're used to holding it this way, yes, it's going to be a little uncomfortable for you. Um, to switch, it's going to feel weird. My advice is, if you can already play a couple things, if you can play with some riffs or a little plunking things out, do what you can play, but do it more slowly and try it with this new picking grip. I'm telling you, students, they try this. It's a little awkward at first. Within a couple weeks, they're coming back saying, oh man, like I have so much more control. I feel so much more confident. The pick's not moving. I'm, I'm getting less noise. All kinds of great things happen. So try this out. Try this out.